everybody welcome back to my channel hope everybody's having a great day today hope everything's going your way today today i'm coming you with a haul video yes today i'm gonna be hauling for you all the things i got during my birthday month so if you want to just hang out with me and see all the love that i was shown during my birthday month they just keep on okay, everybody let's get started man okay guys so yeah your girl doesn't have time for small talk today guys because i'm really excited to show you all the things i got for my birthday month and when i say my friends and fam show me love guys my friends and fam show me love because between my hubby telling me to go ham which i absolutely positively did and my friends and family sharing me with gifts throughout my whole birthday month. I really have quite a bit to show you guys. So I would say now's the time to go get you some breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A few snacks and a couple things to drink. Cause uh, This haul here is about to be a bond burner. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm not going to go in any particular order. But I think I'll start with nine makeup gifts first and then work my way to makeup. So the first thing I got is a pair of earrings from Hubby. These earrings are from Scroll and Vine. These are actually a pair of abalone earrings. And guys, would you look at those earrings? Those earrings are so stinky girl. Yeah. What's even bad about these earrings is they're reversible. Because they're abalone on one side and they have a nice pretty silver imprint on the other side. So, so I'm really happy with these earrings, guys. And I can't wait to wear them. Thanks, hubby. Okay, guys, and the next thing I got also from hubby is another piece of jewelry. I got this beautiful rhinestone necklace. Because those of you guys, my peeps, may already know. But for those of you who don't, I love jewelry. This necklace actually came from Marshalls. And what really drew me into this necklace is all the colorful rhinestones. So, that's cool. That is cool, 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 cool. So, yeah. so once again, guys, I'm totally happy with this jewelry. And I can't wait to wear it. Next. Okay, guys, and the next piece of jewelry I got it's from my little girl, Nicolette. Well, big girl now, because she turned 13 in January. But she's still a little girl to me, nonetheless. It's actually a bracelet. And it says, shine, the world needs your beautiful light. Aww. And guys, this necklace is so stinking cute. It actually has charms on it. And... It says, follow the place your heart has chosen, and you will get to the place your soul calls home. Oh, and guys, I've been dying to wear this bracelet, but I was waiting till I hauled it for you guys to put it on, so yeah. I'm happy that I finally hauled it for you guys, because I'll be putting this bracelet on tomorrow. Thanks, Nicolette. Okay, guys, and the next couple things I got were some fragrances. And these came from my mom. I actually got the Michael Kors Sexy Ruby. And I got the Lancome La Nute Tresor. I don't know how to speak French. I'm good at Spanish, but French not so much. And guys, these perfumes smell so stinking good. And I'm not really good with notes and things like that. So if the notes aren't on the bottle, I can't tell you what they are. But I do know that Sexy Ruby is more of a scent you wear out on the town. And the line comb, this is actually a little work appropriate. Yeah, this is a nice everyday fragrance. So I've actually used both of these because it really don't matter. And I couldn't help it, so I'm so happy my mom gave me a couple more fragrances to add to my collection. Thanks, Mom. 
Okay, guys, since I'm already showing you guys my peeps fragrances, I might as well show you that I got all three of the KKW Fragrance Diamonds. And they consist of the diamonds from Courtney, Kim, and Chloe. Now each of the boxes slide open to reveal the fragrance. And this one is Courtney's. Hers comes in a pretty yellow crystal. Now I'm gonna be sure to keep the boxes for all three because as you guys, my peeps may or may not know, these bottles, they don't stand up. And I really don't just want to lay them down somewhere because I don't want them to get ruined or scratched. And when I would describe Courtney's, I would say hers is most definitely a sexy fragrance. This is most definitely one you wear on a night on the town with your bae or your boo. And Kim's comes in this very classic, very timeless, clear crystal bottle. And if I had to describe Kim's, this is more of a light, fresh scent. It actually reminds me of clothes when they come clean and fresh out of the dryer. This is most definitely safe to wear on a nine to five. And I really do like this fragrance. I like it a lot. And Chloe's comes in my absolute favorite color in the whole wide world. It comes in a pretty pink crystal bottle. And Chloe's fragrance also has a nice fresh scent. This one is more like fabric softener. Whereas Kim's was more like laundry detergent, yeah. But it's not in a bad way. It is a very nice smell for someone who likes that light, fresh scent. Yeah. I can't wait to wear it though. And I will most definitely be wearing all three. Next. Okay guys, and the next thing I got is from my sister Nikki. I got a gift card. I got a gift card to my favorite place in the whole wide, wide world to pamper myself. Five star nails. And it's actually in the amount of $50, which is more than enough to get two fill-ins or a pedicure and a fill-in or a full set with designs for him. I'm so glad she gave me this gift card because it will be nice to go into the shop for once and I have to spend my own coin. Thanks, Nikki. Okay, guys, and the next couple things I'm about to show you are brush sets. The first brush set that I got is from Wet n Wild. I got the Wet n Wild Los Angeles 10 piece set. And what actually drew me into this brush set is not just the fact that the bristles look so stinking cute and they're so stinking sober. I really love the handle. It's got like orange glitters inside of it. Yeah. This would look so nice on my shelf. Because I'll probably never use them. So. Either way, guys, I'm glad to have them as a part of my brush collection. And I can't wait to use them. Or not. Next. Okay, guys, and the next set of brushes I got are from Elf. I got the Elf and the Bella Noir brush set. And it also comes with a highlighter, a lip liner, and a lipstick. And guys, would you look at those brushes. Those brushes are so stinky, girl. Yeah. The packaging of the highlighter and the lip products are just as pretty. And it also comes with this beautiful bag with this beautiful embossment on it, which I can only assume you can use to store your brushes or you can use it as a clutch. I mean, it's multi-purpose. Guys, it's got the pretty pink bristles, which I saw stinking soft. And I really love the pink handle because of course, you know, pink is my favorite color, so yeah. So I very well may be using these products soon, guys. TBD. TBD. Next. And during the rest of the video, guys, unless I stay otherwise when I'm showing you my goodies, I got them, courtesy of hubby, during my birthday shopping spree. Okay, guys, and the last brush set I got is actually from Beautylish. I got the 420 brush set.
And no, I don't indulge, nor am I an enthusiast. I just love pretty brushes. And if by chance you're someone who does, there's no judgment here, guys. Do you, boo? Do you? And besides, guys, with the way my lack of memory is set up at my 40-something-year-old age, your girl Lily here don't need no help. And with the way beauty set up these days, there's really no avoiding cannabis-inspired beauty. And what I really love that Beauty Lish did with these brushes, because they do cost a pretty penny, is that they have brush guards on all of them. And I love the design inside the clear ferrule. I love the ferrule itself. And I love these beautiful, soft, green bristles on the brushes. And the brush set also comes with this beautiful green iridescent tie bag for you to store your brushes. And I think that's a nice, cute touch. And this is just yet another brush set to add to the decor in my film room. Next. Okay, guys, the next item I got is actually skincare. And I got this from my girl, KK. I got the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. And guys, I absolutely love serum. My current favorite at the moment and of all time is, of course, the Ula Hendrickson Truth Serum. So it's going to be nice to try this glow recipe because I've heard nothing but great things about them. And I've always wanted to try, but just not spend my own coin to do it. So I really can't wait to try the serum, guys. Matter of fact, I think I'll use it tonight. Thanks, KK. Okay, guys. I got not one, not two, not three, not four. But I got five Ofra highlights. I got Blissful, Rodeo Drive, Soho, Cloud Nine, and Covent Garden. And these were not full price at the time I got them. They were actually 30% off, so I figured. It's my birthday month. Hubby told me to go ham, so might as well do it at a discount. Now, this first one here is Blissful. It's actually like a pinky champagne color, if you will. Oh, guys. That's most definitely an Ofra highlight. Ooh. This is Blissful. And this one is Rodeo Drive. This is the very classic timeless highlight from Ofra. I do believe this is probably the one that put Ofra on the map, if I'm not mistaken. This is a champagne color as well, but it doesn't pull pink at all. Yep. Oh, yes, guys. It's definitely less pink than Blissful. And it's such a pretty highlight. Now, this one is Covent Garden. This looks like more of an icy pink. Oh. That's girl. Oh, yes, guys. Actually, I take that back. It does have a hint of pink in it, but it is more of a baby pink, whereas Blissful's more of a cool pink. Mm. That's a nice highlight. Now, this one is Cloud Nine. Guys, it's like an icy white with a pink or a purpley iridescent undertone. I mean, it might be too light for me. Oh, no. That is a perfect shade for me. I can work it out. Do you see that iridescent pinky ship there? Yeah. That's a pretty highlight. Oh, and this very final one I got is Soho. Guys, that is such a pretty, peachy looking highlight. Ooh. Now that most definitely has a gold undertone to it. And if I didn't mention it earlier, I don't remember which one it is, 
but Covent Garden is actually a Talia Moore collab. Mm. But I love them all, guys. And I can't wait to use them. Next. Okay, guys, and since I didn't have any of the blushes from the Afri collection by Juvia's Place, I got both of them. I got Bella and Serafina. Now, Serafina is a very pretty, light, corally shade. And it's right up my alley, guys. Whereas Bella is more of a rustic orange, if you will. This one is Serafina. And this one is Bella. And guys, both of those shades are so stinking cute. And when I say these are nice and soft to the touch, I can tell they blend out nicely. And why your girl Lily absolutely positively didn't need another blush. It was my birthday month. And I wanted them. And I can't wait to use them. Next. Okay, guys. The next couple things I'm about to show you. I actually, from Kylie Cosmetics. I got actually two of the Kylie Jenner Press Illuminating Powders. I got Dreaming of Diamonds. And cheers, darling. Dreaming of Diamonds is actually a yellowish gold highlight. And I already dug my finger into it because these compacts are quite hard to open. This is actually Dreaming of Diamonds. And it's actually quite a subtle highlight, guys. It's not blinding or beaming in your face, but the consistency is quite smooth. Yeah, that's cool. And Cheers Darling is a gold highlight with more of a peachy undertone. Yeah. That's Cheers Darling. Again, guys, by no means is there anything meant to be in your face. But it is a nice, cute, subtle highlight. I can see me using that on a light makeup or no makeup makeup day when I want to have like a natural pretty looking glow. So I'm happy I got them. And I can't wait to use them. Next. Okay, guys, and the next things I got from Kylie Jenner are actually lip products. I actually got two lipsticks and a lip gloss. And one thing I can say, guys, is Kylie Jenner kills it on the packaging. This first shade that I got is actually Raspberry Charlotte. And it is definitely a pretty raspberry type shade. Oh, yeah. And it is such a creamy formula, guys. Ooh, that would be so cute. With a nice, simple eye look. And you just want to pop a color on your lips, yeah. This screams spring and summer all the way. Now, this second shade I got is actually red hot. And guys, that is a pretty orange reddy shade. And white girl, Lily, it doesn't usually wear red. I'm a little more likely to wear it when it pulls a little more orange. And this does that. Oh, yes, guys. Rah, rah. See, guys, that is like red with an orange undertone. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be wearing this in the summertime. Maybe the spring. Might even wear it before the wintertime ends. Next. Okay, guys, and the Kylie gloss that I got is actually in Diva. Oh, guys. I can already tell. It's a little bit gloopy. But it does have a nice consistency. Nice and opaque. That pink is right up my alley, guys. So. But it is a little bit loopy. But it smells so stinking good. Yeah. You know your girl loves lip glosses. And I hear Kylie has the bomb on the lip products. That's it, guys. I can't wait to use it. Next. Okay, guys, and the next couple lip products I got are from my girl KK and DJ. I actually got the LA Girl lipstick in the shade Obsessed, and I got this from KK. And guys, 
That is a very nice peachy nude. Oh, yes, guys. Do you see that shade? Oh, yeah. That is a nice Earth Tone Pinky type shade. Yeah. And this cream is all get out. And you know your girl Lily. Lip products are after her own heart. Now this is actually Laura Mercier lipstick that I got from my girl DJ. And it's in the shade Rose Ma. Guys, do you see that pretty pinky mauve shade? Oh, guys. That's a pretty pink. It pulls almost a little purple, too. Yeah. And it's creamy as all get out. Yeah, these lippies are the bomb.com. And I can't wait to use them. Next. Okay, guys. I got 9-1. Nine, 9-2. Nine, but 3. Moisture Boost Lip Shines by VZR. Guys, when I told you I went ham for my birthday month, your girl went ham for her birthday month. The first shade I got is in Floor. It's like a nudie shade. And guys, these are very thin in consistency. But, oh, it's quite opaque. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and they smell good. This second shade I got here is in Beignet. And this is a nude as well. But it pulls a little bit more caramel. Oh, now that's a cute lip shine. Yeah. That definitely pulls a little more light brown in color. And I can't get over how good they smell. And the very last shade I got is actually in Paddle. And they did have four shades. I think the fourth one was like a plummy dark plummy shade which i knew i'd never wear but this one is like a cute baby pink very light pink guys it's almost clear yeah this is something nice to put over a lipstick or even just as a lip gloss when you just want to be on the go mm -mm. they smell so stinking good and i can't wait Next. Okay, guys, and the very last two things I'm going to show you before we move on to our favorite part is a couple more lip products. I actually got two lip products from the Sailor Moon ColourPop collection. I actually got the Ultra Blotted Lip in Usagi. And I got the Ultra Blotted Lip in Butthead. And while these do look quite similar, guys, there's definitely a difference. This one is a little bit lighter of a pink than this one. Now, this shade is actually Usagi. And I love the blotted lip formula, guys. It's like your lips, but better. This is one lip product you can use where it doesn't matter if you have fine lines. It still makes it cute. So that is Usagi. And this one is Bumhead. So guys, they do look really similar. But again, Bumhead has a little bit more like lilac in it, if you will. I mean, it would have been nicer if maybe one was a coral and one was a pink. But that's okay. They still cute. And I'm still wearing them. And guys, you see how it looks when it dries down? It dries down to like a powder type matte. So yeah. I'm still happy I purchased these products. And I can't wait to use them. Next. Okay guys, and the very last and final lip product I got is from a company called Kimchi. This is the Kimchi Chic High Key Gloss. And I got the shade Earthy. And I actually got this because it was on sale. 
And I had bought a palette, so I figured, why not? And of course, you see why I got this one, because it's totally my color. Oh, guys. Now that is a pretty nudie lip gloss. Mm, doesn't have a smell, and I don't much mind that. So, yeah. This is awfully cute, guys. And I can't wait to use it. Next. Now, guys, if any of you guys, my peeps, watch my Orlando vlog, you already know my girl DJ is something like a bomb.com baker. And she actually baked me the cutest things for my birthday. First, let's give it up for the presentation. She put my goodies. In this pretty happy Valentine's Day 10. Boy, the outside of the 10 is absolutely nothing compared to what's on the inside of the 10. Guys, DJ made me some beauty cookies. Hmm. Do you know how long I've been waiting to bite down into these cookies? One cookie says, happy birthday, gorgeous. She did me a makeup brush. She made me a couple four pan palettes. She made me some lashes. She made me a couple lipsticks. She made me some lips. And she made me a gang of cookies and my initial. And since one of my lipsticks was a fallen soldier, might as well finish it off. I can hear the hallelujah chorus. So I'm just gonna put these to the side. And me and hubby and Nicolette will be polishing these off sometime this week. Might even be tonight. And DJ also got me an Urban Decay translucent mix and medium and an Urban Decay naked aluminizer. Guys. That Illuminizer is so stinky, girl. And if she didn't do me right enough, she also got me a Sephora gift card. What can I say, guys? I have great friends. And if that wasn't enough, she got me some goodies from her site. She got me this bomb.com pair of glasses. Oh, mm-hmm, bomb.com. She got me earrings, more earrings, more earrings. And yep, you guessed it, more earrings. And all these earrings are the bomb.com, and you can find them on her site, DJ's Unique Boutique, which I have linked down below. But yeah. What can I say, guys? I have wonderful friends. Thanks, DJ. Next. Okay, guys. Now the part that everybody came here for. Pallies. The first palette I got is from Elf. I got the Elf Earth and Ocean palette. And in looking at the shades in the palette, guys, can you guess why I got this palette? Because, you know, your girl Lily here just loves her some green and blue eye looks. And I absolutely love the Mad for Matte palettes that are on by Elf. So I figured, why not try some shimmers, do? Let me just swatch a couple for you right quick. Because that's just what I do. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> couple of these shades seem a little suspect. Oh, but a couple of them seem to have quite a bit of promise. Okay, guys, not bad. Not bad at all. 
these, they do have a couple of shades like this that are a little chunky, but they would totally work out with glitter glue, I'm sure. And those mats, I mean, I had no doubt about the mats. Okay, guys. Mm-hmm. This palette definitely has some promise, and I can't wait to use it. Next. Okay, guys, the next palette I got is from Shroud Cosmetics. I got the Shroud Cosmetics Arcana Palette. And guys, guys, would you look at those shades? Would you look at them? Would you look at them? Would you look at them? Guys, this palette is so nice and grungy, just like I like it. It's got like those deep jewel tone shades that would make the perfect grungy eye look. Guys, do you see those shades? Man, those shades are so stinky cute, so mm. I am so glad I have finally shown this to you guys because I've been dying to use this. So i am be using this probably in my next video. Next. And I also got the Moonfall Trio from Shroud Cosmetics. This one is in Artifact. This one is in Night Song. And this one is in Soul Stone. So, yeah. I'm actually going to put this in one of my magnetic pans. And I might use it in a later video. But until I do, I just didn't want to take it out the packaging. And one thing I can say about Shroud Cosmetics is they pay close attention to how they send you your merchandise. And I feel it's such a nice touch that they sent the trio to me in this pretty pink little bag. Okay, guys, there is one palette I just absolutely have to get out the way so that we can move on to better pasture. Along with the Sailor Moon Lippies, I also got the Sailor Moon Eyeshadow Palette. Would you give it up for that packaging? That packaging is so sticky cute. And this is actually the palette I have on my eyes today. Okay, guys, now let's look at the color story. The color story is also so stinking cute. But that's about where it ends. Guys, don't get me wrong. This did turn out quite a nice eye look. And while I do love the mattes, and I'm kind of impressed with how they perform, every single mat in the palette, except for this one right here, and maybe one of them up here, have glitters in them. And as for the shimmers and the specialty shades in the palette, how can I describe those shades without being too mean, but being direct? trash yeah that's about right and as far as the shimmers in the palace guys how can i describe the shimmers without being too mean but still be direct underwhelming i wasn't impressed with not one shimmer in this whole palette and you'll see when i do the eye look you'll see guys you will see so this is one palette that I totally could have skipped out on. I mean, the packaging is cute and all, but I'll probably never pick up this palette ever again. Yeah. Next. Okay, guys, the next palette I got is actually from Lunar Beauty. I got the Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette. And guys, can we just give it up for this color story? That color story is so stinky cute. It also has those nice jewel tones that I like. It's got those grungy purples and greens. And it appears that every single shade in this palette will complement each other rather well. Yeah. Mmm. And guys, while I could have easily swatched the Sailor Moon palette for you guys, I just as soon I relive the nightmare. Yes, guys, those are some beautiful shades. And I could tell when swatching them that these are the kind that are easily built up. And I don't much mind it. I can already tell that these are going to blend like a dream. Yeah. 
And one thing I can say about Luna Beauty is they always kill it on the packaging. Okay, guys, and the next palette I got is actually from Kimchi Chic. I got the Kimchi Chic Rainbow Shards palette. And guys, do you see that packaging? That packaging is pretty as all get out. The back of the packaging is just as cute. But what's on the outside of the palette isn't half as pretty as what's on the inside of the palette. Do you see that palette? That palette is so stinky cute. You got your earth tone and your neutral shades over to the right. And then you got these wild shades over to the left. Yes. And I actually saw Nikki Tutorials using this palette. And she created a bomb.com eye look. And with that, coupled with the packaging, your girl just had to get it. These are a few swatches from the palette. And so far, guys, this palette is phenomenal. Yeah. I most definitely can't wait to use this palette. I can't wait. Okay, guys, the next couple palettes I got are from LA Girl. Courtesy of my girl, KK. I got two of the LA Girl Pro Artistry palettes. I got one that is inspired by more so greens and blues and a few earth tones. And it does have the shade names on the sleeve of the cellophane. And guys, do you see those shades? Those are some pretty shades, guys. Those are a few of the shades swatched. And as you see, LA Girl plays no games. And these shades are more pinky, more romantic, guys. Those shades are just darling. And these are a few of those shades swatched. Very sexy. Very cute. Very romantic palette. Okay, guys, the next palette I got is actually from Sosu. I got the Sosu and Khalid Urban Bible eyeshadow palette. And guys, I've been wanting this palette forever. And I figured on my birthday month, I will most definitely get it. And guys, would you look at those shades? I mean... It was delivered to me with a casualty. But when looking at the rest of the palette, I'm totally okay with it. Guys, the richness of those shades are quite impressive. Yeah. I'm going to have fun using this palette. For sure. The next palette I got is also by Sosu. I got the Sosu Azure Allure Eyeshadow Palette. And we're looking at the color story of this palette. How could I not? It's got those rich greens, the blues, and purples. Three of my favorite kind of eye looks to do. Yes, guys. These are so rich in pigment and color. Mm-mm. I definitely can't wait to use this palette. Okay, guys. The next palette I got is by Nomad Cosmetics. I got the Nomad Tokyo Palette. And it is something about the Japanese designs that I fall for every time. But what's on the outside of the palette is a half as pretty as what's on the inside of the palette. Do you see that pastel goodness? Do you see it? This palette is so stinky curved. All the shimmers and toppers are at the bottom. And the rest of the palette appears to be all matte. Guys, I can already tell that this palette is going to be something kind of special. I know you can't hardly see it. But those iridescent toppers have the prettiest shift. I feel like I'm going to actually use this palette for my Easter video this year. So yeah. Stay tuned for it, guys, because I can't wait to use it. Now, the next palette that I got, I was totally excited to get, and I've been wanting it for a long, long time. I got the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro Palette. And guys, my girl KK raves about this palette, like, all the time. So I figured out I'd see what to do, what to do, what to do. And when looking at the color story of this palette, 
I can totally see why she loves it. It's got everything you need to create a nice rainbow eye look. You got your nice little earth tones over here, your neutrals. You got your greens and blues. You got pinks in there. Got some orange in there. Purples, red. Yeah. This looks like a nice palette. Guys, do you see that pigmentation? Yeah. This looks like this is going to be a very enjoyable palette to use. And I mean, while it is quite large, I can see if you travel with this palette, this is the only palette you'll ever need. And if you're someone who really, really is not into makeup like that, and you don't collect a lot of palettes like I do, and you just want something that'll give you everything, I can definitely see this palette doing that. Yeah, this is a nice palette so far. Okay, guys, the next palette I got is actually by Beauty Bakery. I got the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed Eyeshadow Palette. Now, this was actually on sale at Ulta. I don't know if it was 40% off, 30% off. I don't remember, but I know it wasn't full price. And I really wanted to get it because I don't own any Beauty Bakery palettes. And of course, you know, 2020 is a year of first purchases for Lily. And guys, while it would look like this palette is not my cup of tea, because there is absolutely nothing colorful about the palette, there seems to be a nice everyday type of palette, if you will. And besides, guys, it totally has those grungy shades that I like. Uh-oh, guys. Uh-oh, guys. Okay, guys. These swatches leave quite a bit to be desired. I mean, they may perform better when I put them on my lid. But one thing is for sure and two things for certain. I'm so glad that I did not purchase this palette at full price. But, once again, guys, it might be better once I put it on my lid. Okay, guys, the next couple palettes I got are actually by Menagerie Cosmetics. I got the Menagerie Feral Palette. And I got the Menagerie Killer Purr Palette. And there are really only two palettes that they made that I don't own. One is the Ink Palette. I don't remember. It's the Purple Palette. And the second one is the Dragon Palette. And that one's actually discontinued. But I already have the Well Song Palette. And now I have these two. The Killer Purr Palette is so cute. It's got lines on the front. And when I open up this palette, you will certainly see that the packaging is very indicative of the shades in the palette. And these are the shades. And guys, this is nothing but a um, neutral lover's dream with a pop or two of color. I can see this giving a nice grungy eye look, especially with that green. And then these two shades here to blend it out. Mm-hmm. This palette to me is so aesthetically pleasing. Even though it's a mostly neutral palette. Oh, guys. Listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. Listen, honey. Those shades are so stinking cute. And guys, they are pigmented as all get out. And when I was swatching them, they were really so smooth. I'm almost certain that those shimmers will work well on a dry brush. Hmm. Yeah, buddy. I'm glad to have this palette in my collection. For sure. And this one is the Feral Palette. Guys, there's something about this packaging. Menagerie Cosmetics, they blow me away with the packaging every time. And again, guys, what's on the outside of the palette is indicative of what's on the inside of the palette. Guys, look at those shades. Would you look at them? Would you look at them? Would you look at them? Guys, this is quite a unique color story. It's got the yellows and greens. It's got a couple grungy neutral tones in there. It's even got pink and purple. And while you would think these colors don't go well together, 
Guys, I've seen people using this palette all on a tool, and you cannot mess it up. Guys, these shades are so smooth. Guys, do you see that green? It's got like a lime and yellow shift to it. All those shimmers got a shift. And man, those masks look pigmented. It's all get out. Mm-hmm, yeah. Ooh, yeah, buddy. This is another palette that I can't wait to use. Guys, <laughs> guys, I feel like I did a palette declutter to make room for my new palettes. Okay, guys, the next palette I got is by Lorella. I got the Lorella Sweet Valentine palette. And I mean... I did intend to use this during the Valentine's Day, but it's got that pretty pink and white packaging. Very indicative of Valentine's Day. And guys, would you look at those shades? Those shades are so stinking cute. And you know what? I do believe and KK brought this to my attention. There are some shades in this palette that are kind of reminiscent of um, Natasha Denona's last palette. Yeah, that. But I would even say that some of the shades in this palette are even prettier. I actually like this color story a little more, to be honest. Now guys, I will not lie to you. The shimmer seemed like they would be more of topper shades to go over the mattes. But the formula of the mattes, hmm, is quite impressive. I think I'm actually going to swatch this palette against the Love Palette by Natasha Denona just to see how alike they are. But I'm glad to have this palette. I'll be mostly using the mattes, but I'm still glad to have this palette nonetheless. Okay, guys, the next palette that I got, and I absolutely have no reason why, is from Morphe. I got the Morphe Artistry Palette, the 18A. And this is actually the blue palette, which is probably why I got it. This is most definitely a blue color story. And that's a color story that I can definitely get behind. But I really hope I can get behind the formula, though. Because one thing we can definitely say about Morphe is Morphe's inconsistent as all get out. And this palette appears to be no different. Okay, guys, maybe I'm being just a little bit hard on Morphe. Because those swatches actually look pretty promising. I mean, I love the color story of the palette. And I don't really own much Morphe. Don't really care to. So, yeah. I'd be happy to use this palette if I get a recommendation for it. Who knows? I may use it on my own. We'll see. We will see. Okay, guys, the next three palettes I got are actually by a company called Moira, Moira Beauty. I got three of their palettes. I got the Sweet Paradise palette, the Mensa B palette, and the Electric Nights palette. And I do believe that this is actually shadows. And it also has like a face palette in it too. But we gonna see. This one is the Sweet Paradise palette. I don't know if it's a rainbow palette on the inside. But we'll see. Okay guys. This is a rainbow palette indeed. This is what I would consider a muted rainbow palette. All of these are the shadows. And I do believe these might be highlights. Okay, guys. Those are highlight shades, but they do look a little powdery. Okay, guys. They actually swatch better than they do look in the pan. Okay, guys. The shimmers, they are beautiful. But I find that a couple of swatches of the mattes are a little inconsistent. That pink at the bottom, that's a matte. That's pretty pigmented. But when trying to swatch the purple and the red, yeah. 
They're awfully tightly pressed, so yeah. I can see a white base in my future when I use this palette. This one is the meant to be palette, and I do believe this is a neutral palette. Okay, guys, yes, this is quite a neutral palette. This is what the palette looks like. And I mean, I'm totally okay with it. I believe I got all these palettes because they were on sale. I do believe I saw somebody on the tube using one or two of them. So I figured, why not try this one? And these are actually the blushes in the palette. I can see them being pretty cute. Nice wash of color once I build them up. And these are a few shades in this palette, guys. And I must admit, when it comes to both the shimmers and the mattes, I'm not mad. Yeah. That's a nice palette. I mean, up on the swatch. But the real test is going to be when I apply it to my lid. And the very last palette I got by Moira is the Electric Lights palette. And I don't even remember what the inside of this palette even looks like, guys. Okay. This is another grungy green and purple and neutral base palette. And I think what I love most is it actually has three blushes in it. And I think that's a highlight. Okay, guys. These shades also have a lot of promise. And I mean, these palettes are quite inexpensive, guys. I know they were inexpensive when I purchased them. Man. I can't wait to use these shades. I can't wait to use this palette. Okay, guys, the next couple palettes that I got are actually from Gimme Glow. I got the Gimme Glow Grunge Palette. And guys, one thing I can say about Gimme Glow is their packaging, while simplistic, is all stacker curve. But guys, the shades in the palette are even more beautiful. While this is quite a neutral palette, I can see myself making a lot of nice grungy looks with this because I feel like I want to get into a little grunge this year. And guys, one thing I can say about Gimme Glow Cosmetics is the mattes are so rich in pigment. Yeah. The shimmers are bad. Now the second palette I got is the Juicy Olive Palette. And I have been fighting, getting this palette forever. And since hubby told me to go ham and go off, that's what I did. And guys, would you look at that? That is such a pretty green six pan palette. And that's one thing I can say about Gimme Glow Cosmetics is their pans are huge. Guys, do you see that pigment? And do you see the shift in the shimmers? Man, I can't wait to use this palette. Mmm. Okay, guys, and the next palette I got by Gimme Glow Cosmetics is the Gimme Glow Summer Vibes palette. And guys, Would you look at those shades? These shades scream summer all the way. Guys, what more I need to say? What more I need to say? What more do I need to say? Is it blue? Is it aqua? Is it pink? Is it gold? Guys. And the very last palette I got by Give Me Glow for my birthday is the very iconic staple palette. Now, this is actually a neutral tone palette. I think this was their first one. But on the side, it still looked beautiful. So, your girl just had to get it. Guys, 
basic or not. That is such a pretty palette. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys. Now, I will not lie to you. These palettes are pretty pricey. But when you consider the amount of product you get and the formula and the quality, it's totally worth it. Mm. And this is their very first palette. guys i actually have all their palettes i also had a christmas morning and the vintage rose but i got those i believe before i got those so yeah. and they are coming out with one i think for the summer and i'm definitely on the lookout for that one because it is my solemn goal to collect every single palette that give me glow creates okay guys finally we are coming up on home stretch I told you that this haul was going to be epic because your girl snapped off for a birthday month. The last three palettes I'm going to show you are actually from Viseart. The first one I got is the Viseart Bridal Satin Palette. And guys, I figured I wanted to get a satin palette because I have they're all matte palettes, and I really need something that's going to go with the mattes. And then looking at the shades in the palette, I can kind of see why they call it satin bridal. Because while there are punches of color in there, they're really quite subtle, guys. Okay, guys, and these are what those shades look like. And they are definitely satin shades. And I will admit, when I swatched them, guys, they were quite smooth. But yeah. I didn't expect anything less from Viseyard. Okay, guys, and the very next palette I got is actually the Viseyard Boheme Dream Palette. And now these look like they're satins as well, but with a little bit more color. And I actually got this palette because this will go perfectly with the Grand Pro Volume 3 palette. And the bridal one would go absolutely perfect with the volume one. Listen, Linda. Listen, honey. Those shades are so stinky cute. Man. Those shades would definitely go perfectly with the volume three palette. And you already know, it's Viseyard. So the quality is definitely top notch. Let me get a little shine off my face. My face shine, you know, girl, okay? Guys, I am so sorry that I've been filming with all this shine on my face. But I've been filming for a minute. Okay, guys. Last, but certainly not least. The last palette I'm going to show you brought me to tears when it got delivered to my job. In a Sephora box that I knew I didn't order. This was a gift from my girl KK. I got the Viseyard Volume 2 Palette. Mmm. Guys, when I opened up this palette, I really did not know what to expect. I knew I didn't order anything, and I knew it had to be something from one of my girls. But when I looked inside, who would have thought it would have been this? Guys, I have been wanting this palette forever, but just could not pull myself to buy it. And I told myself that the next spring, so for a VIB event, the Rouge event, I was going to purchase this palette. So, just understand how I could have felt 
when I opened up the Sephora box and I saw this palette. All I can say is God has definitely blessed me with some wonderful people in my life. Ooh, but enough out of merchandise. Let's open her up. Yowie. Guys, would you look at that palette? Would you look at that palette? And all is splendor and glory. Guys, this palette is beautiful. <sighs> this is why I saved this palette for last. <sighs> and guys, while I totally do not want to swatch this palette, my girl KK bought it for me so I can use it. So, yeah. I'm gonna swatch this palette. Guys, these are just a few shades in the palette. And man, this is such a pretty palette, guys. And I can tell upon swatching these shades, and because it's Viseart, that this is most definitely a quality palette. And guys, what better palette than the Volume 2 to use in conjunction with the Volume 1 and the Volume 3? Mm. Well, guys, I guess that's about it. I mean, it's quite enough. I mean, what more do I really need? And as I sit surrounded by all these goodies, I can't help but feel anything less than loved. And not just because my friends and family pamper me during my birthday month, but because they always give to me year round. And also because I have subbies and viewers like you guys, my peeps, who take time out of your busy day to watch my videos, especially this one, because this video is long as hell. And I can always count on you guys, my peeps, to lift up my spirits when I'm feeling down every time I read your comments. And lastly, guys, I would like to say in closing, as we all take time to reflect on life and what it means during this trying time in the world right now, I just want every one of you guys, my peeps, to know that I'm keeping every last one of you and your friends and family and my thoughts and prayers during this time as we beat this thing because trust me guys we will beat this thing because one thing's for sure and two things for certain god always prevails and the devil shall not win and that's all i'm gonna say about that so i really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today while i did my massive birthday haul I always love connecting with you guys, my peeps, every chance I get. Every chance I get. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It only gets greater later, guys. It only gets greater later. So until next time, guys, stay real, stay positive, stay up, and damn it, you better watch, fight, and pray.